Hi, I'm Faith Anna, AE4FH. And I'm Hope, KM4IPF, and, and welcome, welcome to, to HamRadio.World. And also, that's Grace back there. So yeah. another video on the preparation for our N4T Dry Tortugas de-expedition, which is in about two weeks. Today is one of the, N or right now at least, it's one of the antennas that we're going to be using. This one is going to be our 20 meter antenna, and it's called an X-beam, not a hex beam. Instead of six spokes, it's got four. So the spokes are actually these um, poles that extend, um, extendable poles, and they're extending on me when I'm not trying to. Um, they're kind of like a crappy pole antenna, or not an antenna, but they're kind of like crappy poles, but they're not. Um, but that's the, that's what they look like to us. So we have four of those that we stick in to this hub through each of these four holes and they stick in through these which stick into the hole and then you'd stick this on top of them. Um, and we got the coax going up through here and connected to this which will then be connected to the antenna. And this, this um, hub is built to fit on our max gain systems um, mast, which you will see in a little bit. And then we got these glow stick things that glow really bright. They're from UV pack light. And we're using them because the National Park Service has required that we use um, a light of some sort to mark our guy wires um, and our antenna to so that people don't run into them at night. So we'll take a video of this when it's dark, or some pictures at least. Yeah, we'll make a video when it's darker, because it's not all that dark right now. So we'll come back to you when it's up to get when it's all together, and we'll show you how everything's put together. So I forgot to mention, you can get all these parts from the TN07. Um, dot com, um, except for this, but um, so also what we did to build this so far is we put the tiny little tube things into the holes all around and then we stuck each of the poles on. And then we took the wires, there are two wires with the eye connectors, these are the driven elements and so they just tighten on to here. And then there's one wire that's really long um, compared to the other with a thing in the middle. It's a knot here, but um, then we go down through it to the loops at the end of the poles. And this is the director, so um, so that makes us talk into the camera right now if we had a radio. But um, oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, um, coax. About the coax. So we are going to be using this Messi and Poloni 50 foot coax. Um, and it's very lightweight. And we're using it because it's so lightweight, plus it works really well. But the connectors are too big to fit through. So we needed to make a jumper, which is just some RG8X that we got from the wireman. And it's a six foot, cable that we made the connectors for this and we have an adapter on here so that it can fit to this and then we'd use this for the rest of the way mm -hmm. so next we're going to be putting it up on the mast and once it's up there we can show you what next we do we got everything put together and another part of the video where we're showing you what we did um, on each intersection and at the start, we wrapped gaff tape around to keep this wire in place and uh, on these sections to also keep the wire in place, but also to help the sections not to um, close themselves. And we have the wires all going down. Once you get to the end, they got connected with string um, so that they all stay pretty even. and. Somewhere here along this one, there's a knot. Um, yeah, right here. And the knots that are either red or black, or maybe even both, that means that they're supposed to be there and don't take them out. Because if we have them 
if they're there and they're colored in some way, then we know they're supposed to be there for it to be positioned correctly. So that's pretty much what we did. And over here at the top here, there's these things that move around for our flag to be on. So to, tomorrow we will have our flag put on there and oh look at that, it says nobody came on the F. Never noticed. Um, and also one of these, since there's four of them, is also, I forget the name of it, but it's like the, the, the middle of the, yeah, the turnbuckle of the, our dipole that we're going to be using. Um, well, one of three that we're gonna be taking. I don't know if we'll use them all or, or not, but we'll take them just in case. So tomorrow we will have it um, all finished and hopefully on the air. Yeah. Is this the end? I think so. 73. 73. Say 73. 73. Did you hear that? <laughs>